It's time for another Coffee Talk with John. You know, my friend from a couple thousand years ago (laughs) used to get frustrated. And the thing that frustrated him most was people hearing what he said, but not acting upon what he was teaching. And nine times out of ten, they they weren't acting upon it because they weren't grasping it. He had a hard time sharing his teachings because they were too simple. They were so simple, we have a hard time understanding it. You know, I often, in private sessions, will talk to somebody and I'll hear them using all those wanting, needings, hopings, and tryings. And I'll understand that they're creating wanting, needing, hoping, and trying. But the next level of that is not just changing your words. It's stepping into that role of being the divinity, being your own creator, and stepping into that creative space, that creative choice. And that creative choice is where you realize that you are already creating. This is not something you have to struggle to get to or or work to get to or to or, or fight to get to or learn the next aha moment to get to. You're already there. It's not a matter of finding it. It's about acknowledging it. It's about being in this moment. You are the creator. Ye are gods, is what Jeshua would say. And then he would say, I speak, but you do not hear. (laughs) Because people were, were not understanding that their very present moment is the only moment you have. The I am moment is not the I will be or I was moment. It's the I am moment. It's the here and now. It's the being in the very present moment. The only moment you have thought, word, and deed. The only moment you can do anything. And in this moment, you are the creator. You're the one who has the ability to to make change. But it's hard to grasp because people all day long are, are, are saying, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And I'm is a contraction for I am, God's name. I'm tired. <gasps> they yawn. I'm hungry. Their stomach growls. Because they are creating those experiences. They are creating the world around them simply by their belief about their present moment. What are you believing about yours? Are you believing that the world is a struggle? Are you putting faith that uh, struggle equals growth? That's a tough one. You, you believe that, so you get it. How about... <laughs> I learn easily, or <laughs> all knowledge that I'll ever need is come, comes to me easily. And wh- wh- how would that feel? Would that be a different experience for you to suddenly realize that everything that you're doing can be easy? Because if you're focused on the struggle, you're going to get a struggle. And if you're focused on easy, you're going to get easy. And if you focus on love, you're going to get love. And if you focus on fear, you're going to get fear. And oftentimes, we don't understand when we're focusing on fear. Like, You get into a loving relationship and you're like, oh, this is such a beautiful, loving relationship. I hope I don't lose it. I hope he doesn't cheat on me. I hope she doesn't run off with another man. You know, whatever it is, you know, that's the fear. And when you have those moments, you go, no. And quite honestly, in that sort of situation, what we're really looking for is unconditional love. And if they can't see you past your need or your fear then they can't love you unconditionally because they can't see you. So really, your present moment is all about you being 100% you, authentically. Say the things you love, do the things you love, create the things you love, surround yourself with things you love, and people who are in alignment with that will surround you, and you'll be surrounded by people you love. Live in the, the expectation of living in a loving world, and the loving world will be shown to you. You know... I, I for years and years and years used to work in, in theater. And as I got more disgruntled with theater, theater became more disgruntled with me. You know, I started having people coming in and, and trying to undermine me and doing... And it had nothing to do with them. It had everything to do with me. It had everything to do with, with my own dissatisfaction with that work and doing that work. You know, and my own dissatisfaction led me to 
get mad and frustrated and angry. And those mad, frustrated, and angry present moments were all about my fears and my anxieties. And in that, I had the opportunity to go, oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Right? And I haven't gone back and done it since. And I'm sure that you know, you know, it, it is something that I loved to do in the past, but passions change. Passions change because life is in motion. And if you could take this moment and, and keep finding things that you love, then loving things will surround you. But it really comes down to you getting very present, being very much in this moment, and loving this moment fully, and loving yourself fully, and loving the expression of your life fully, and letting the world show you that love in return. That's my thought today. You guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.